Hey everyone, it's Dr. Naclera here from McLaughlin Wellness Clinic. Today we're going to be going over some exercises that are catered towards the forearm here. Um, one thing to take note of is that a lot of the muscles that are into this area both cross the elbow and they also cross through to the wrist. So the very first thing that we're going to want to do is start off with a few stretches that can target these areas. The very first one being into our forearm flexors. So the muscles that are extending from here to here, what we're going to do is extend like this. Because they cross both joints, we want to make sure that we're keeping the elbow in an extended position. To add more of a stretch, we can use our own body weight with our hand to add more of a stretch into here. Be sure to work into a range that is comfortable to you and that is not increasing any pain levels. In order to get our forearm extensors, we're going to come out like this. Again, keeping the elbow extended and adding in resistance if needed to get more of a stretch. Again, not working into any pain. Good. Some exercises that can target these areas and can strengthen these areas are the following. So we want to make sure that we're keeping our elbow close to our side and we're resting our arm on our thigh. We can start off with just using our body weight and as things get better, we get used to doing the exercises and if you know we've just had an injury, we can start with this and then slowly work our way up to graded exercises. So using you know, two pounds weights, getting used to that, then jumping up to three pound, four pound, and slowly increasing our way up. So the first one is a supination and pronation twist. So what that means is we're starting in this position, coming into supination, and then slowly coming back into pronation. These exercises are best done slowly. Good. And then the next ones that we're gonna focus on is a wrist extension and a wrist flexion exercise. Again, these can be done with our own body weight, doing range of motion first, and then we can slowly increase to weighted exercises. So the first one is a wrist extension. So again, elbow close to the side, resting on our thigh. We're going to come up into wrist extension and slowly back down. And again, slowly back down, turn the other way for some wrist flexion, slowly up, only moving at our wrists and back down. These exercises can be repeated throughout the day. They can be done up to two sets of 10 and you can do them slowly. You don't have to hold any of those positions, but doing them slowly is important. As you become comfortable with doing two sets of 10, you can increase to three sets of 10 repetitions. And then as these become easier to do, you can slowly increase and add a weight to the exercises. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. As always, this is an educational post only. If symptoms do persist past doing these exercises, please feel free to reach out to us and book an appointment for an assessment today. Thanks guys.